only one place you can see mixed martial arts action, all women cards inside the cage, and it's Fatal Femmes fighting. Fatal Femmes, the violent competitive sport women are really getting a kick out of today, Sunday, November 11th, 2007. From NBC News, this is Today with Lester Holt and Jenna Wolf. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Exactly. And then later, Jenna, I know you like sports. Very and by the way, so. welcome to the Today Show. It's nice to have you in the desk Thank here. You. This, some people describe this as kind of a cage match, yes. which brings us to cage fighting, okay. ultimate fighting. Either way, it's a lot of brutal punches and kicks. And more women are now choosing to step into the ring. We're talking housewives and mothers. But why? More on that when two of the best in the business join us live on the plaza. I believe that's your segment. I'll be at a safe distance <laughs> oh, no, on the side behind the barrier. You are getting involved. <laughs> Ultimate fighting. It's one of the country's hottest spectator sports, gaining more popularity and fans each year. Well, that was a heck of a takedown. But who would actually want to try this? As NBC's Josh Mankiewicz explains, the new wave of competitors are giving a whole new meaning to the term cleaning house. There's no biting, no hair pulling, no knees to the head. Beyond that, there are few holds barred. It's mixed martial arts, cage fighting, the newest rage. And now the newest wrinkle. It's not just for guys anymore. It's Thursday night in suburban Southern California and Brandy Nerney, mother of four, is serving dinner. But just 48 hours later, Brandy will be dishing out something else. I'm dynamite! Nicknamed Dynamite, she's part of a women's lib movement in what's been an all-male club. I like it, it's fun. I've always been an athlete my whole life. I'm not a mom that sits around and drives everyone to their soccer. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Fatal Femmes Fighting Free, the War of the Roses. The matches show on pay-per-view, and at a time when interest in men's ultimate fighting is bypassing boxing, events like Fatal Femmes Fighting might do the same for women. They go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They go right at it. And, you're, and it's not a cat fight. You're not going to see punches like this. You're going to see really highly skilled women. You will also see an audience of all ages, one that's eager to watch women fighting women. Why the surge in popularity? Maybe it's because just about anything can happen inside that ring. Because unlike professional wrestling, this is totally unscripted. A violent video game with real blood. And it doesn't draw only moms like Brandy. 19-year-old Sophie, sparring here with her boyfriend, hopes to one day be a full-time professional fighter. I love training. You know, I love working out, running. Hitting people? Um, it's my job. This is what I get paid to do. Good job, Sophie! Tonight, Brandy's daughters will be cheering on their mom, who at 4'11 will be slugging it out with Yukiko Seki, who's only 4'8". They'll be going hand-to-hand -hand and foot-to-foot -foot for three rounds. From the opening bell, Brandy begins to administer a serious beatdown. But Yukiko hangs on. There's no knockout. She walks out like a champion. You look happy. I am happy. Do you hurt anywhere? On my hand. <laughs> I think I broke it, maybe. Turns out, she's right but fighting like a girl never felt better. For today, Josh Mankiewicz, NBC News, Ontario, California. Joining us now, Lisa King and Lisa Ward. I call them the Lisas, and they're two women proud to be called female fighters. Ladies, thanks for being here. I got so many questions. I got, how did you get started doing this, Lisa? Started as fitness, never had a, a want to fight, and it just, it, it got the best of me. Is this truly a violent sport? No, it's an extreme sport. With and, anything, there's a risk. All right, and, and why do you think that so many people want to see women fight? We're exciting. We, uh, we stop at nothing, and uh, there's a lot of emotions versus men.
Some would say, inside this cage, it's a man's world. I guess that depends who you're asking. Big thing now. Oh, my God, big right hand. Getting in that cage just gives me the biggest rush. This spring, the ultimate pay-per-view event. We are live from the cage. Hell hath no fury like the women of Fatal Femmes fighting. <laughs> the all-woman, full-contact, cage fighting federation. I want to be number one. Who doesn't? Because these chicks really kick ass. Oh. They're fierce, they're ferocious, and they're friggin' hot. Usually I like to rip my shirt off after I win. Fatal Femmes Fighting, fully sanctioned by the California Athletic Commission. Three championship belts, eight bone-crushing bouts, one epic night. So if you say it's a man's world, they're gonna make you eat your words. This spring, the future of mixed martial arts is Fatal Femmes Fighting. The all-woman, full-contact, cage-fighting federation is here. In the highly anticipated pay-per-view event. I'm going back to Japan with that belt in my suitcase. Cage-fighting is an offshoot of ultimate fighting or mixed martial arts. While there are some rules, it's actually still illegal in some states. A cage fighter wins either by knocking out her opponent or by having her opponent throw in the towel. I want my fight to go fast. Anything over the first round is unpaid overtime. 